Chair. All right, so I'll call the meeting to order and Jeremy, you can confirm the quorum. Yes, sir, we do have a quorum and uh, the press has been notified. Okay, good. So we need the consideration and approval of the minutes of the being held on June 17th. Um, I think everybody's probably had an opportunity to look that over. Uh, does anyone have any uh, additions or corrections to those minutes? Move approval. If not. Ms. Holly. Okay, Holly. This is Susan, I'll second. Okay, so I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed like sign, motion carries. Okay, so uh, uh, so we're here today to talk about the authorization uh, to increase the personal service contract with KPMG uh, for additional healthy at home eviction relief fund. So Wendy, uh, do you wanna explain that for us, please? Yes, and Jeremy, could you enable me to share my screen for just a, a bit? Um, well, yeah, I need you to stop sharing, Jeremy, so that I should can. be able to now. Okay, great. Okay, I just thought I would, it, it's easier to show some numbers uh, to you all to kind of give you a sense of why we're coming to you for an amendment to a contract that you all approved as a board not all that long ago. Um, so this is a contract for services related to healthy at home eviction relief, which is of course funded by the COVID-19 relief package um, passed at the end of December 2020 and the funds flow through treasury to the finance cabinet and then via an MOA to KHC as the administrator. Um, so the contract um, amendment the current contract that we have with KPMG uh, was for the processing of applications, really just for a very finite portion of the process. They're not handling any money. Uh, we do that. They're not handling customer service. We continue to do that. They are just processing applications from beginning review through quality control. Uh, and then it comes back to us. We have staff that also do the same work. So they really are just adding to our human power to get more done. And their pricing is on a per application fully processed basis. So it's $335 per application, which is on par with several other states that I talked with that are using vendors. Um, we in our first, app, first contract with them, our existing contract uh, capped it at 5,500 applications, which translates to just a little over $1.8 million. And it was set to end at the end of this year. We have had um, and in, they are almost out of, they are out of applications for us to assign and almost out of um, uh, applications to process. Um, they have gotten so much done and I'll show you the, those numbers in a minute. Uh, in addition, we have had a significant and quite surprising influx of applications and I'll show you those numbers in a second. So we um, uh, would like to increase that their application, excuse me, their contract um, by amending it to go up to 10,000 applications processed. So that's an additional 4,500, which then adds about $1.5 million to their contract. Again, we only pay for fully processed applications. None of their startup costs or anything like that do we pay for, only when they actually get an application fully processed. Um, and we would like to extend that contract through the end of the fiscal year, just to give us some wiggle room. Um, so it, I'll share with you all just a little bit about the why. So um, as you know, we got this funding in January. Um, we launched in February. So the Commonwealth got a total of $264 million and some change. We have, uh, and, and that is alongside direct grants to Louisville and Lexington from Treasury to those urban counties. We have also added additional funds out of our bucket to Louisville and Lexington to keep their local programs going because we don't operate in Fayette and Jefferson. So when you look on a month by month basis, um, you can see when KPMG's production really started to hit our numbers. If you look at October, it's a pretty radical jump. We went from paying out 9.8 million roughly in September to 18.3 million 
in October. Um, and that is the, the product of KPMG and all of their people working alongside our staff and really they finally got ramped up and just got a lot of applications processed. Um, so that it's really had a great benefit to us. We've gotten on top of our backlog um, and we're, we're pleased with our working relationship with them. However, um, we started doing a bunch of marketing in August and the eviction moratorium ended. And those two things combined have translated to us receiving over a thousand applications per week on average for the last six weeks. And really that growth in application volume began in August, but really ramped up in the last six weeks. So we are, are back to being worried that we're gonna have a backlog and that we, you know, that we're gonna need to be able to continue a higher volume. Originally our thought was that KPMG would get us over our hump and then we would reassess if we need them. Well, I can tell you all that even with this contract amendment, we may have to come back and amend it yet again. Um, next time I will estimate higher. <laughs> I won't be, I thought 4,500 was plenty and then we've got all this volume over the last several weeks. So um, this is a good thing uh, because we have lots of funds remaining in the program. Um, so I don't see this as a bad thing. It's just really hard to uh, manage the pipeline, you know, in a way that keeps everything running evenly. Instead, it's it feels a little more herky jerky. Um, in total, uh, we have paid out eighty million dollars as KHC in rent and utility assistance. Um, that doesn't include what Louisville and Lexington have paid out from their their dollars that we granted them. We have assisted over twenty two thousand three hundred excuse me, we've made over 22,300 payments on behalf of a little over 16,000 households across Kentucky. So, and the average is running at just under $5,000. Um, 99% of the payments have gone directly to landlords or utilities. So um, I'm gonna skip ahead just enough for you and I'll go back to the amendment at hand. So I would ask uh, you all to consider uh, approving an amendment to the KPMG contract. And I will warn you that we may be bringing a third, a second amendment to this contract, not in, in the near future because of the application volume that we're seeing. And I'm, I welcome any questions. So Wendy, let me ask you a real quick question. Uh, as I understand it uh, from Jeremy and Winston, they, there is a, a provision in this that uh, we receive a certain amount for processing and this 335 is actually less than that, right? Is that correct? Oh yes, let me, I'll show you all. Um, I pardon the detail, <laughs> but it's hard for me not to go with detail. This is a kind of a dashboard I use to understand where we are with how much, what we had um, and how much we have to help tenants or how much we have for admin. So what you see that is kind of pinkish peach colored are the admin costs um, or admin allowable amounts. So there is a total for the whole grant of 26 million allowed for admin. Some of that goes to Louisville and Lexington because we let them have 10% admin on the grants we made to them. So KHC um, for its costs uh, related to this has $21.9 million to work with for admin. We have expended so far five million. Now we haven't paid KPMG anything yet. We are about to process a couple of invoices from them because again, October is when they really ramped up. So that, that five million will go up, but you can see in the, the bottom uh, peach number for admin, we have $16.8 million left that is allowable for us to bill against until September of next year. So, the, and the point I'm making is that the law provides for you to subcontract this for help. Yes, sir. Okay, so, yes. Yeah, all right. And, uh, okay, and so, and tell me again, what is your backlog right now, uh, Wendy? <laughs> uh, I would have to get back to you on that, Mike. I mean, right now we were processing, really, if we got a complete app, which can be kind of the hard part, but we could get it paid within two weeks. But with all this volume that's come in and KPMG stopped for a week because we couldn't assign them more work, you know, yeah. they had stuff yeah. in process, but they've, they've let us start getting them new applications um, to, to work, even though we're, you know, we don't have this fully approved yet. So um, I, I don't know, I'll be honest with you, I don't know exactly. It's gonna be, we have, we have about 5,000 sitting 
ready to be processed. Um, okay. But some of them, okay. we, we needed extra document or what have you. Yeah, that, that's, that's good enough. Okay. And, and Wendy, <clears throat> on, on behalf of the board and the exec committee, thank you so much for the wonderful job you and your folks are doing. I, I mean, this is a yeoman's uh, work that you're doing and, and, and we certainly appreciate you and uh, I, I want to support you as much as I possibly can. Any other members of the executive committee have any questions? This is Susan. This is Susan. Ahead, when do the uh, when do the funds expire? When do they have to be expended by? These this first bucket of ERA uh, sunsets at the end of September 2022. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to be sure. And just as a as a comment on a side note, um, I was on a, a national lieutenant governor's call, and this was a really the primary topic we were on with White House IGA and they kept talking about HERF and how they were struggling to get the money out the door and I was able to, to brag on KHC a little bit saying they, they're doing a great job. If anyone wants information, call us. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. <laughs> That's great. Anyone else? <clears throat> well, uh, if there are no other questions or comments, uh, I'd enter take a motion that uh, that we we authorize this increase in the personal service contract, so Wendy can can get these payments made. Uh, do I have a motion? motion? Okay, and do I have a second? A second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those <laughs> like sign. Uh, motion carries. Okay, so Wendy. Uh, uh you got some help here Thank and, you and Wendy, if, just let me say uh at least as far as i'm concerned if you if you uh run into another snag and need a, additional authorization don't hesitate uh, well uh, you can look for it i think it's going to come soon <laughs> i'm afraid i'm afraid that's the case and and, and these folks out here need the help there's no doubt about it and uh and and, and you're you're helping them and, and we appreciate it so Thank you, Mike. Okay. I really appreciate that. So, um, okay. So, uh, Winston, do you or uh, uh, Jamie have anything further you want to talk about as far as informational items go? I only have two quick things, and then I'm let everybody go. One is uh, just to remind everybody our next uh, full board meeting is on December the 9th. That'll be the last one we hope of the year at two o'clock. It'll be virtually. We decided to still remain safe and sound as best we can. Uh, that's the first announcement. The second announcement is that we uh, have a new board member who's been appointed by the governor uh, to, uh, to fill a vacancy, and that's Chad Chad Mills from Hancock County, and uh, he hopefully will be able to join us at the next board meeting, and I'll make uh, introductions of him with more detail at that time, but I just wanted to let you all know that. I, Mike, I think you've already reached out to Chad. I did reach out to him, Winston, and uh, really a really nice person. And uh, we had a nice conversation. I think he'll be an excellent board member. Right. And that's it. And again, I expressed my appreciation earlier to you all joining us on uh, short notice and and uh, out of out of turn. But we really do appreciate it. And uh, Gail, I haven't said hello to you this afternoon. I, I, know, you were, I know you were joining us late. And we understand. I appreciate that. I'm so sorry that it was, I was a late kind of bloomer, but I had something I had to absolutely do. Oh, um, that's per perfectly fine. We understand. Um, I want to apologize too. It's just, it's been wild around here today and I'm under, under the gun. So I, I apologize. But, uh, and like I said, I, my technical skills need to be enhanced, but, uh, <laughs> so uh, Jeremy, do you have anything today? I do not. Okay, Winston, you have anything further? Nothing further. Okay, but the only thing I would like for you to do on behalf of the executive committee and the board uh, is to wish all the employees at KAC a uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving and thank them for the wonderful work that they're doing for the Commonwealth. So we did that. We did that. that yesterday on your behalf and on the board's behalf to the entire leadership team of about 50 people, and we'll pass it on to the rest too. Okay. Well, you're ahead of me then, as usual. So, 
All right. Do any other members have anything else or Wendy, do you have anything else that you all want to add uh, or comment about? Um, this is uh, Holly. I just want to uh, recognize that I think it was yesterday. I believe yesterday or the day before we had to um, go before the uh, Appropriations and Revenue Committee um, at their request. I was asked and so I reached out to Winston and asked uh, if Wendy would be able to appear and talk about the uh, Healthy at Home and, uh, Eviction Relief Program. And I just wanted to say to the whole board what an excellent job she did. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. I've been trying to get to another meeting um, uh, presenting to the committee the other day. So I just wanted to recognize that. So. Well, well, thank you for that comment, uh, Holly. And Wendy, uh, uh, you're recognized as one of the best. So we, we appreciate the work you do. And uh, er everyone appreciates you. And so, uh, thank you for that comment, Holly. Anybody Absolutely. else have anything? All right, so happy Thanksgiving to all the uh, members. And uh, so if there, if there are no other items, we'll stand adjourned. And I guess, uh, Jeremy, we need a motion for that. Is that correct? We do, yes, sir. Okay, so do I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Okay. And a second? Second, Gail. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you all. We appreciate it.